musical tells the story of events that have been called England's last revolution. It is 1817, two years after the Battle of Waterloo. Little work is available and food prices are impossibly high. Times are very hard indeed and people are getting desperate. organised by Luddites who are losing their cottage weaving livelihoods to the new factories. There is talk of revolution and secret organisations in many towns and cities are preparing for the overthrow of the government and the establishment of an English Republic. The people of Pentridge, a Derbyshire village, gather at the White Hart Inn to hear Speaker Thomas Bacon tell of the revolutionary plans. Nanny Waitman, the innkeeper's wife, is a revolutionary firebrand and fiercely tells him to stop the talk and get to action. Whether by government plotting or false information, the men of Pentridge are led to believe that the revolution is about to start. Jeremiah Brandreth of Sutton in Ashfield is chosen to be their leader and forms them into a small army. Anne Brandreth, Jeremiah's wife, is unhappy about his involvement and prays for his safe return. gathers the men together and sets off round the district to arm and enlarge his little army. The Duke of Newcastle is responsible for law and order in the area. He is well aware of the revolutionary activity and is kept well informed by government spies within the rebel groups. William Oliver is one such spy reporting regularly to the Duke. Oliver considers himself a loyal citizen doing his duty but knows that some will call him a traitor, a Judas. <laughs>
Pentridge band march on, expecting to join up with other groups to form a great army to march on London and overthrow the government. Brandreth gathers the men together and sets off round the district to arm and enlarge his little army. Pentridge band march on, expecting to join up with other groups to form a great army to march on London and overthrow the government. Unfortunately for them, there is no general uprising, and they walk right into a trap set for them. Soldiers from Nottingham soon have the group dispersed, and the leaders imprisoned in Derby. As the Pentridge men pass through Eastwood, the soldiers are spotted. Most run for their lives. Brandreth stands alone, his hopes and dreams shattered. There is no happy ending to our story. Anne visits Brandreth in jail, and sadly she learns that he and two others are to be hung, and several of the group are to be transported as convicts to Australia. Anne leaves, and Brandreth sits with his head sadly bowed. Shadowy figures now fill the stage area as the song of the oppressed is heard.